Okay, we're going to turn our assignment five script, our regular R script, into a R markdown file. We'll do that uh, in just a few steps. So here's our script that we have. As you can see, it's just a regular R script. We can see that the mode here is R script. If we click down here, we can go into R markdown mode, but I'm going to create a new um, script. So I'm going to go over here to the white button and I'm going to click on R markdown, create a new R markdown uh, assignment. <clears throat> I'm going to keep things simple, the title and the author, very simple. So I'll just call this assignment five. Uh, and I don't put any special characters in here, slashes, stars, uh, colons, or things like that. Uh, keep things really simple because this uh, YAML, as it's called, uh, has to be uh, very simple. And we're just going to do this as an HTML file. So we'll click yes. So now I've got uh, my YAML, Y-A-M-L up here. Never want to touch this, never want to mess with this. It's very finicky. I have our setup um, code chunk and then a couple of other code chunks uh, here and then some, um, some text, right? So code chunk text, code chunk text. So our setup chunk, we're going to um, put in our uh, setup stuff. So I'll go back to my script and just take my setup stuff and copy it over to the setup. Um, and I'm going to take the working directory and put it into the second code chunk. Sometimes that seems to work a little better. So we're going to put that here. Uh, and then we're going to read in the data there. So we'll put the read in of the, of the data in that code chunk, right? So I'm going to take out this uh, text here. Don't, don't need that there. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to take this out. And our next uh, set of code will be our descriptive statistics. So I will uh, copy that uh, here and put that over into the uh, next code chunk. So then we'll insert some new code chunks in here. Um, so notice how I just type over and then I put in a couple new code chunks. Have to change the name of the code chunk. They don't actually need to be named. So I'm going to take the names off of these. So the first one we usually want as um, uh, uh, the setup one and include equals false. The rest of them we want uh, echo equals false. So we don't want to um, have the code appear in our knitted report. So I'll always uh, add that. Oh, and it intelligently uh, added that for me. Um, that's nice. Uh, so we have our stargazer table. Then after the stargazer uh, table of descriptive statistics, we have the graphs with the error bar. So we'll copy that into this one, first one um, here, and then copy the second one into the second one, to this one, and then copy the regression. So I'll make a new code chunk. So the code chunk notice is gray. Notice down here I'm in markdown mode. So I'll have the regression uh, be in the, uh, in the last code chunk. And then I had the uh, text that I had for the regression. So I'm going to put that over in, um, in here as text. And then I'm going to, uh, and I put uh, returns here. So I'll take those returns out. I think that should be now, uh, yeah. And then we can do the same for this one. So I'm just tidying up my uh, text here so that it looks good. There we go. 
Uh, so that wraps around. And I need one more um, code chunk for this curve thing. So I'm going to insert a, um, where do I insert a, a new R chunk, right? So, so we're gonna have a new R chunk here at the, at the end. And I'm gonna go back and get that curve function um, and, and put that in here. Um, and we have that. So everything looks good. I'm gonna save this file and I'll save it as uh, this is, uh, assignment five mark down. And I save it and it's marked down. So let's uh, go ahead and knit it and see if it works. Um, and we'll just wait a little while while it uh, knits. It seems to be going just fine so far. And it takes just a little while. And there's my knitted report. And uh, as uh, there's the graphs. Uh, now, notice I'm very unhappy with how the country names are all overlapping. I want to fix that. Yeah, there's my regression. I'd like to get rid of the. Um, the double asterisks, and if I recall, that is um, comments. Uh, it's uh, comment equals blank, I think. Let's give that a try, and uh, and see if it knits and, and then takes those those double hashtags uh, out. Uh, I'm just going from memory. I should have looked it up. You can type in get rid of double hashtag in R markdown uh, and that will uh, tell you uh, how to get rid of it. Ah, but that, right, so the double hashtag is gone. So I can do that now for the uh, other ones. I don't have to do it for the graphs, uh, but I'll do it for the uh, regression. So that's, that's all uh, good now. And then I have my, um, and I don't know if you were seeing it because I had, uh, let's, let's go over to stop sharing this and share the screen so that you can see the, um, what the knitted window looks like when it opens up. Because before you only had the RStudio window, I believe, when you were looking at it. So you couldn't see what the actual knitted uh, outcome was. So we'll take a look at that in a second. As it appears, yeah, nice and neat. Now, of course, I'd want to have text there and a little bit more content. Uh, there's my regression. Didn't have echo equals uh, false for this curve, so the curve doesn't show up. I should have a title for that curve. But everything looks nice and neat.